up, everybody? I thank you for dropping by and tuning into my eating show. I am here with some lobster tails and some spiky king crab legs. I love king crab legs, but I hate the ones that's this spiky. What are they, Alaskan? <laughs> I love crab legs, though. I love king crab legs. I love snow crab legs. Love the meat, but I can't stand uh, the spikes. Um, I'm being nosy. My neighbors are moving. I don't have a lot of movement around my house. <laughs> but uh, I have some of the yum yum sauce to go with it. And I seasoned it with um, the real comedian Latrice Allen's season, the spicy one. I wanted to try her spicy seasoning on my seafood. I eat a lot of seafood and I'm always willing to try different seasonings. I'm not huge on the dipping sauce like I like butter and lemon um, with garlic that's my favorite dipping sauce I tried so many of the other sauces um, and it's just butter lemon and uh, butter lemon and garlic that's that's my favorite that is just how I like it that's how I always like it and that's just my go-to I have my happy glass. This time, this one says faith, family, and friends. Um, I have iced tea in it. I just made. It's good and sweet. Um, sweet tea, I should call it, not iced tea. But let me go ahead and get started. I don't want to keep nobody here longer than they desire to be here. I use that... Uh, the season that I ordered, Sister Comedian Latrice. I watch her on YouTube a lot. Child, she'd be funny. <laughs> I think I got my mom watching it. I should have tasted it without any yum yum sauce. Season well, good seasoning. Mm hmm. That works good. I like that. I like that, girl. Okay. I'm not mad at that. And it's a little spice to it. Good stuff. I'm mad at you. It's the spicy one. She got all purpose and a spicy. Mm -mm -mm. I didn't take a picture. I didn't do nothing. I just started getting in. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Heck, I wanted to know. Y'all know I do. I'm a, I'm a reporter at heart. Never decided to do it by profession, but I am a journalist. I'm a storyteller. So when it's something that I need to know or want to know, I have no patience. I go in for it. So, all that other stuff can wait. I like, let me get to what I need to know. And I needed to know if that sauce was good. And it is. It really is. I'm gonna eat one of these crab legs. Yeah. The, uh, the news has been just Huh. Huh. How y'all living? How you living? I mean, for real, because <laughs> the way it's looking, there's a lot of little action going on and out in front. But how it's looking, this world is in chaos. Chaos.
people don't know what to say. But I will say this. If you're doing your thing, keep doing it. And there's a lot of people out there doing their thing, child. Doing their thing. Keep doing it. Don't stop. You don't get discouraged. It's easy to get discouraged. Especially with all this mess that's going on right now. It's very easy to get discouraged. My house is quiet at the moment. My daughter's watching her YouTube show. The dogs don't see nothing outside, but as soon as they see a deer or anything like it, it's over. Try to get a little bit of that seasoning. I'm going to have to make a different sauce with that seasoning. She probably does. I think I saw her and her kids making uh, eating seafood with a dipping sauce she made. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to try it. Very tasty. My goodness. You know, when you wasn't, not that I didn't think her, salt, her uh, seasoning was good, but I definitely wasn't expecting this to be as good as it is because I've had my this seafood in the freezer for a little while now. And so I always assume that freezing it will diminish the integrity of the meat. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking, you know, who I'm talking like. But I feel like when you, the longer you have it, you know, the the it, the quality of it lessens. But the quality of the meat is still pretty good. I didn't have a lot of high expectations for for the meat, but pretty good. I got these from lobster tails from the store. They had them on sale. And I bought as many as I could buy. It had a limit. And good stuff. I always go on for daydreaming when I'm eating. <laughs> Anybody else do that? They dream when they eat. I just drift off. <laughs> it's like, um, you're recording. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to camera. Hope you learn a lot about yourself. weekend for you know my 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 um blog talk show but I'm also doing a recording for my book um I had planned to do a one woman show last year when I released my book um it didn't work out I had planned it I think I can't remember what the date was but I had planned it and COVID happened. And so I have been waiting 
to be able to do the show. I didn't want to change the theaters because, or the venue, because I want to continue to support the venues. But um, they should they they have limitations here in Chicago. Chicago has been one of the cities that's not playing around with this virus. And, um, so everything has like been shut down. But on the back end of that, it's true that there are a lot of deaths by deaths. Um, I think they call it deaths by despair. A lot of drug overdose, a lot of alcohol abuse, um, an increase in suicide and suicide attempts. Can't leave those out. Uh, so when we lock down, they're saying that those numbers go up. So it's just, it's just strange, scary times. But I wanted to support the venue. I don't want to just be like, oh, well, you know, I can go somewhere in Indiana and do it. Or I can possibly go somewhere in another county and do it because their capacity and their numbers, you know, they allow people to host events and things like that.